it can last you maybe two months. Like, two months. Yeah. So it's like ten k for per month. So like, wow, that's expensive. Yeah, I got Okay, how do you handle it? How do you handle it? Like, how do you handle it? it? Oh, yeah. you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today, as you guys can see by the title, we're gonna be doing gift guide ideas for her. Especially right now because we're in the month of December and people are expecting you to buy them gifts because Christmas is around the corner. And I have so, another, so you're in other words, you're telling me what you want me to buy for you in other words. Yeah. Indirectly, through yes. a video. Yes. So I have my one and only right here with me so that he can hear what I want him to buy for me for Christmas and he can also give his opinion about what he thinks about Yeah, if whatever you're saying is Bible, not Bible. Yes. Yeah. So I the first thing I think Make them not expensive Aki. Aki will yeah. And before yeah. I, I this tell economy. you <laughs> before I tell you the <laughs> kind of gifts you can buy for your in this case, uh, the guys, the kind yeah. of gifts you can buy for your woman. Yeah. Um you need to know that before you give somebody, you have to know what they like. Because maybe I don't like food, and you are going to you go buy some pizza, and then you bring for me the pizza, and I don't like food. I won't appreciate the gift. So it's important that you know the kind of gifts that I like, so that when you get me, I will appreciate it. That's a good pro tip. Yeah. yeah. You know what so, some good ones. Very good. Uh, number one gift idea is you can get your woman maybe makeup, makeup kit. If she loves doing makeup, if she's a makeup artist, you can get her makeup products, things, make new makeup products that she can try on herself. Or if she does makeup on other people, she can like apply on her clients. You can get her skincare stuff if she loves to do like skincare to take care of her skin. I don't know, I've mocked that one. So like. A whole like whatever it can cost like how much, so that somebody doesn't think that it's going to be expensive. Like on the, the minimum, on the like let's yeah. say on the minimum, something the like decent, a decent makeup. Let's say a makeup uh, kit. Um, a decent. Let's say you can have twenty thousand Kenyan shillings for twenty thousand. Yeah, Kenyan for shillings. a whole full face of the makeup product. That is assuming that she doesn't have anything for makeup. She's yes. starting from zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. That can be a good investment. And, she, and for how long like can somebody that use that like? If you're somebody who applies like makeup like every time, every every day at the minute. Um, it can last you maybe two months. If you apply it like every day, that's your like your job. Like, two months. Yeah. So it's like ten k for per month. So like, wow, that's expensive. Yeah, it's. And I thought, and that's I, 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 thought I, I thought like this stuff usually lasts like this makeup stuff usually lasts like some of them last for months. I didn't know that. Yeah, some, some last for months, stuff. especially for things like lipstick. But um, if it's things like foundation, because foundation you apply it like everywhere on your skin. That one can last you maybe two months, but things like lipstick, lip gloss can go for some time. Okay. Or the lip pens, the pencils, things like that can go for some, quite some time. Yeah. And so twenty thousand is for high quality makeup because. Of course, you want something high quality because you want brands. something. Okay. Yes, because you can get cheaper makeup, okay. which is of quality, of course. Another thing that you can give to a woman. Oh, so you're going to the second one. Yeah. Okay. Another thing that you can give to a woman. Uh, clothes. clothes. You can buy them clothes. Or oh, if you know their size. Yes. And the type of clothes they, they like. Mm -hmm. And they love their favorite colors. Yes. Yeah. So those, are, those are stuff somebody has to buy. So it's something, it's a very tricky move by the way to, to buy clothes. Very, buy, yeah. yeah, because you have to, you have to know all those size. things. So like, I think if it's a lady you're meeting for the first time, you're barely getting to know her, mm. this is not a good gift idea. It's yeah. a good gift idea if you are somebody you have known, you're with somebody you have known, and like you know their dressing style, you know the things they love wearing, the favorite color, right? Yeah. yeah. So again, you also need to be very observant because you don't wait for her to tell you I like this, I like this. Just see, like, just look at the type of clothes she likes wearing the most, then go and look for another one of that sort, yeah. different color. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Another one. Another one. Gift you can gift your woman is you can gift her like cook, is it cookery stuff that she can use in the kitchen utensils like oh, she has a house. Set, yeah a set of cooking pans oh, yeah. those nice beautiful sets of cups if she's a woman who loves to cook okay if she's a woman who loves to cook right? because yeah. some women but they wouldn't get in the kitchen mm. yeah you don't right. buy her things that she's not gonna get into yeah, the kitchen yeah you buy her all that she's always orders pizza and, and burgers all the time <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. that would be a waste of money 
idea. So that's a really nice uh, gift idea. Mm -hmm. The fourth one. The fourth one yes. is you can gift her maybe a teddy bear because my baby has gifted me a teddy bear before. And you love it really, Yeah, I love the teddy bears. Yeah. So you can gift them a teddy bear. And some people will not understand why why teddy bear. Why a teddy bear? Okay? Because okay, for me, I feel like the teddy bear. Why do ladies love teddy bear? I yeah. love teddy bears because it will remind me of my my baby boo over here. It will remind me of him when he lives when he's away from home. Yeah. I will <laughs> talk to my teddy bears. I will hug them. Sometimes I spray his perfume on the teddy bear so that when I hug the teddy bear. <laughs> but when I miss you, I just want the teddy bear. Okay, okay, that yeah. makes sense. Because I don't yeah, that's why I love teddy bear. Oh, so teddy bear, okay, okay, that's a good one. For cuddling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for cuddling. Woo! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow, okay, that's a good one. So, okay, how about givers mistakes? That's it. That may gift mistakes that people make. I can give like the first one. Mm -hmm. I think you should not uh, give somebody, mm -hmm. a lady, um, a spray or a perfume. I think you can do it, but I actually think that it speaks something. Mm -hmm. like, if, like it's very tricky. If it's not, if it's not something you know that she uses, mm -hmm. number one, it's tricky because number one, you might bring something she she not like the smell. Then number two, I think sometimes it speaks to her. Especially something like a roll on. Mm -hmm. It speaks to her like you think that she doesn't smell nice. I, <laughs> yeah. I think like out of many things, of course you can buy somebody a perfume, but I think out of all the things in the world, That's if true. somebody not you do, don't think like she wants a perfume or she's not been talking about a love perfume, I love if somebody's not really specific, I think out of everything in the world, it's one of the easiest things to get wrong because somebody can easily misread that. Yeah. Yeah. Like find an and buy a perfume. You get what yeah. is he trying to speak? Yeah. Yeah, so I think like of all the things, if you have to do it, it's okay if somebody asks you for it or if somebody, because some ladies sometimes shall tell you that hey, perfume, so it's an indirect way of asking you for the perfume yeah. or a deodorant. But when it gets to a situation where you just, you just want to surprise somebody, I think there are so very many things that you can choose from other than deodorant. People choose this all the time and I, many people usually feel that get it so wrong. With the type of smell that comes out of because you find somebody doesn't like the scent or all this, the, the message that is sent to the other person, you get. Yeah. It's a very tricky one, but that's just my opinion. That's a very good point. Mm. Yeah, yeah. People don't make that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Another mistake I think people make yeah. is um, when you buy any gift for anybody, don't expect them to like it. Oh. Yeah, don't have that expectation because you don't know maybe. Maybe okay. Let me let's say you got me. So you buy notebook. something to somebody and you don't expect them to like it. Like don't have that expectation. Like they're gonna like it. Like their reaction is gonna be amazing. What don't have that expectation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That expectation. See, you bought me this notebook as a gift. And then you bring it to me and then you expect me to be like, oh baby, thank you so much. Yeah. And then I, and you give it to me and then I'll be like, oh thanks. I'm not happy. Yeah. So. In your maybe in your mind you'll be like maybe I'm not happy, which is true. You'll be maybe you'll feel sad. <laughs> feel sad. Sad is a big one. Disappointed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll feel disappointed because I didn't appreciate your gift. So don't have that expectation of this person is gonna appreciate my gift because sometimes you can gift somebody something mm -hmm. and maybe their interest in that particular gift is no longer there. Maybe they used to like chocolates. You want to give them chocolates again? They don't like chocolates anymore. <laughs> so you are giving. A, so if you are giving whatever, you are supposed to be ready for anything. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. Just because to, uh -huh. I've gifted some something to someone before, and their reaction wasn't that nice. Because I thought oh, of course, they would that like. Happens. That, that because happens. I thought they would like that. And how did you gift? handle it? Because I think that's what's important. The fact that how you handle it after someone doesn't like what they give. Of course, I didn't handle it. So I got. Okay, hurt. how do you handle it? How do you handle it? Like how do you suggest? handle it? Oh, yeah. you. I think you. You just tell yourself like it's okay. You don't have that. Like no, when you don't have expectations, you, you won't feel it. Disappointed when somebody doesn't like your gift. So you don't react. Yeah. Just remain unreactive if somebody doesn't like it. Of course, you will have you will have read like whatever happened. You know that they don't like it. Yes. But you don't need like to show that you don't like it. Mm -hmm. So yes. yeah. 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 Y